Ella. Did you not do your homework again? Teacher Ken called me. He complained about you. Mom. Math is very difficult. I couldn't do it. I didn't understand anything. It's all because you didn't pay attention during class. That's not true, Mom. I was focused. But I couldn't understand. Ella. You must study diligently. That's good for you. Mom. You didn't teach me. What do you say? You are busy with work. I want to ask you. But you told me to study on my own. Emma. I work hard because of this family. I get pressured every month. Do you understand? Do you understand me too? I want to be good at math. But I can't. Ella. Since when do you argue with me? Go to sleep soon. Tomorrow, you still go to school. Mom doesn't understand me. I also want to study math well. Ella doesn't understand me. She doesn't know my pressure. Yesterday I slept well. Why didn't mom wake me up yet? I have a strange feeling. Looks like this isn't me. What? Am I in mom's body? Oh my god! Ella and her mother swap bodies. Mom! Wake up! Mom! Ella! What is going on? Hey! Why is it me in front of me? Mom! I'm in your body. What do you say? And you're in my body. Why is that? I don't know. Last time, Tina and I switched bodies. After that, everything went back to the way it was. I don't know why it happened this time. So what should we do? Mom. You have a call. Hello, Mrs. Lulu. Do we have a meeting today? I remember. I get it. 
Mom. So what to do? I can't skip school. Today, I have a math test. Ella. I have a spare phone. Please bring it with you. When you need, please call me. Yes, Mom. But I don't know how to drive the car. We have to take the bus. Is this Mom's company? This is my first time coming here. Hello, Evie. Hello, Mrs. Lulu. Please make this document for me now. I don't know how to do it. What are you saying? I forgot. I'll do it now. But where is my place? Evie, what's happened to you? Your workplace is over there. Really? Thank you, Mrs. Lulu. Hi, Ella. Hello. Did you study for the test? No, I didn't. But after 30 years, I think I remember how to do it. What are you saying? I forgot. I'm Ella. Hello? Mom. Mrs. Lulu asked me to make a document. I don't know how to do it. Is it document B? Yes, Mom. I finished it yesterday. Please open the computer. Then go to Drive to download it. Then give it to her. But what is Drive? Oh my god! Ella! Listen to me and follow my words. Hey, Ella! Do you use a phone? Mr. Randy? You can't use the mobile phone at school. Hey, Ella! Stop! She's so disrespectful. Does she dare to run? Luckily, I ran here. If Mr. Randy took this phone, Ella would be in trouble. Evie, quickly prepare for the meeting. Today we have an important partner. You will present to our partner. What did you say? I can't. Evie. What do you mean? I don't know anything. I don't care. If you fail this time, your salary will be deducted forever.
It's dangerous. What should I do? I have to call mom. Mr. Ken. Hey, Ella. You must call me Teacher Ken. I forgot. Teacher Ken. What do you want? I finished the test. What? Really? Ella! It's incredible! You got 95% of the test. You only got one question wrong. So after 30 years, I still remember. What are you saying? Why does Ella call? Teacher Ken. My stomach hurts so much. I have to go to the toilet. Hello. Ella? Mom. I have a presentation later. I don't know anything. Please put on your headphones. Then carry your phone with you. I'll help you. You just say it like I say it. But... You must do it. Otherwise, I will be deducted my salary. Yes, Mom. Evie. It's your turn to present. Ella. You must do it. Yes, Mom. Hi, everybody. Today is the brand's advertising plan. Hey, Evie. Sophia, what is going on? Why are you wearing headphones? I, you know you can't wear headphones when giving a presentation. Are you cheating? Sophia. How dare she do that? Mrs. Lulu! Evie is cheating! Sophia! There is no law against presenting with headphones. I don't influence people at all. Is that right, Mrs. Lulu? That's right. Sophia, we have the partners. Don't cause trouble. But... Evie, you did well today. Our partner are very satisfied. Really? That's so good. Sophia, you really don't respect me. But clearly, Evie has. Your salary will be deducted for two days. Mrs. Lulu. Ella. You have one round left. Come on! 
I'm so tired. It turns out that Ella studies so much in a day. Math, literature, and physical education. Drawing, computer, presentation. Students nowadays study a lot. Ella, you seem different today. What do you mean, Andy? Your way of talking is similar to Miss Edie. You're probably wrong. Ella. Mom. Mom. I'm sorry. I should have sympathized with you. Your work is too much. Ella. I'm also at fault. You study many subjects in a day. They are also difficult. I thought the study was as easy. But it's not. Ella. I'm sorry. Mom! Ella! This is my body! It's good. Everything is back to the way it was. That's so good. It seems that after a day of body swapping, we understand each other better. What is this? Ella! Why do you spend so much? Oh my god! You purchased $200! I just didn't mean it, Mom. I think I'm in your body. I can use your card to buy perfume. I'm sorry, Mom. I hope Bella and Mom can understand each other. Thank you for helping me, God. What did Ella use $200 from her mother's card to buy? A. Tim Tim cookies. B. Clothing. C. Perfume. D. Doll. If you like my channel, you can subscribe to watch more videos about my stories. Thank you very much.